Getting traffic on your website is great, but you still need to be able to track it properly. And that's the purpose of this short video. We are going to see how to set up tracking for your visitors with HubSpot. By implementing the HubSpot tracking code, we will be able to retrieve data related to the number of visitors, their source, their behavior on our pages, but also generate a history of leads interaction with the content of our site and use this data for reporting, segmentation, or even automation. In the end, it's like having a mini Google Analytics directly in your HubSpot portal and giving us nominative and usable data. So first thing, how do we set it up? You just need to go to Settings, Account Setup, Tracking and Analytics, and Tracking Code. And the only thing you need to do is to copy this code and implement it in all your website pages. If you don't know how to do so, you can directly email it to your web developer. Note that if you use the Spot CMS to manage your website, the tracking code is directly integrated. You don't need to do anything. And now all we have to do is refine this tracking with advanced options. Just a quick break to inform you that this video is part of a free training focusing on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. This free training will be divided into seven big modules, each addressing a specific key point of your Uspot portal. And each module consists into several videos that will go deeper into a specific functionality or feature of your Uspot portal. If it's not already the case when you watch this video, the videos in this series will be published gradually and they will be added to this specific playlist. I have also prepared a private web page bringing together all the different content of this free training and some additional bonus content. So to benefit of this free content and to be notified for every new chapter that is releasing, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. So in this advanced tracking tab, you will be able to connect the domains you want to track visits from, and you will be able to juggle with a whole bunch of advanced options, such as automatically excluding boats from your tracking and be able to deal with your IP addresses. Basically, a spot will allow you to exclude specific IP addresses to make sure they are not took into account when you do your traffic reporting. Because a lot of people, especially in the marketing team, might go a lot on your website, like to check if this page is good or to modify this specific part of the website. And it will count as a visit or as a session every time. It's not real traffic because it's our team traffic. So it's better to exclude it to don't fake the results. A spot always give you your IP address. You just need to copy and paste it here and save it. So you should ask all your marketing team to go here and copy paste their IP address in the list. You can separate them with a comma or you can ask them to fill like a Google sheet, for instance, with their IP address they use like at work and at home and you will take care of the copy pasting. A spot also allows you to store the UTM parameters of your tracked link for conversions on your site, but it is not native. You will have to implement it in your forms and that's what we are going to see in the next video. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the content of this free training plus more additional content on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, a spot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more Uspot tips.